na yangu ni Beatrice Wajiro Wabu. Sasa mtu anajitayarisha, unajitayarisha mapema, kasa moja hivyo unaenda kwa shaba, unachuna, unafikisha mpaka saa nane. Saa nane ni kupeleka. Sima hiyo ya agura ikikuja, itatufanya tusitumie pesa mingi kama kununua mafuta uwaga tunanunua stima zikipotea tunatumia ga stima ya Kenya Power saa zikipotea tutufanya eh, saa tunaenda tunanunua mafuta ta hiyo ndio uwe tunatumia na i, iko na pesa iko juu sana sasa unaweza tumia fe, eh, ya shiriki hamsini kila siku sasa hiyo agula saa itatufanya tusikue tuna, tuna tumia pesa mingi hivyo tutakuwa na pesa iko juu alafu hiyo pesa itatusaidia kujiendeleza kimaisha East Africa Kenya in particular is currently experiencing a period of strong economic growth its population is expanding rapidly and its economies are expanding and diversifying. Kenya possesses the most highly developed industrial sector in the East African community, but its electrification rate is just barely 20%. The energy supply is still unable to meet demand, and Kenya is still heavily dependent on costly oil imports. Regular shortages and high energy prices pose serious problems for Kenya's manufacturing companies in terms of their competitiveness. It was against this backdrop in 2010 that the French Development Agency and the European Union via the Africa Infrastructure Fund funded a credit line and a regional technical assistance program, RTAP, in Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda in order to help companies invest in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Several pilot projects have been set up using renewable energy resources. In Gora, a small hydropower plant with an installed power capacity of 5 megawatts is under construction, which will reduce CO2 emissions by 15 kilotons annually. As a reaction to energy shortages in central Kenya, the Kenyan Tea Development Agency, KTDA, has decided to lower its fossil fuel consumption and play an active role by partly transitioning to renewable energy as a power source. With $16 million in financing, the organization began building a small hydropower plant in order to produce energy to run its tea processing facilities. We have a catchment area 135 kilometers, square kilometers, and from here to uh, powerhouse, actually we have five, five hectares. We already covered. Uh, we are going to produce five megawatt here, and uh, after that, we are going to connect the main power for the four factories. Uh, there is no any pollution. Only we take the water and we release again same river. Kenya is the world's top tea exporter, processing an annual average of 400 million kilograms of tea. The small hydropower plant, which will run the Gura region's tea processing facilities, is a pilot project for the sector. It will help the processing plants both reduce their annual electricity bill and sell surplus power to the national grid. This uh, project has come at the right time to support the, this company. We are going to save uh, up to 4% of the total revenue of this company. We are talking of up to over 30 million Kenya shillings. That is 30,000 US, US dollars. We are dependent on the national grid. The national grid, sometimes there are outages. There are breakdowns here and there, especially during rainy season. And during rainy season is when we also have high production. This small hydropower project was given prior approval by the Regional Technical Assistance Program, which helps structure companies' energy projects technically and financially. The Kenya Association of Manufacturers, CAM, is responsible for the operation of the Nairobi-based Regional Technical Assistance Programme. It is managed by experts and by a consortium of the French engineering consultancy Berjap and the Frankfurt School UNEP Collaborating Centre. 
Uh, the Kenya Association of Manufacturers is uh, contracted by AFD to uh, host and organize and run the Regional Technical Assistance uh, Program. This is a, a, a part of an activity by uh, AFD that is supporting the banks that are um, uh, participating in a credit line for renewable energy and energy efficiency. And the reason for the technical assistance work is uh, to make sure that uh, the banks have the necessary resources and capacity to evaluate a renewable energy project. The programme is innovative in that it provides technical assistance to sponsors of green energy projects while also including a 30 million euro credit line put in place by the French development agency via Kenya's commercial banks. A similar arrangement was created in Uganda and Tanzania. En fait, l'idée de, de ce dispositif hein, global pour l'AFD, c'est de créer un véritable marché euh, de l'efficacité énergétique et de l'énergie renouvelable au niveau du secteur privé. C'est-à-dire qu'à la fois, il y a des sponsors qui, se, qui, qui émergent et qui soient capables de proposer des investissements euh, qui soient bien structurés et des banques qui soient en mesure de regarder ces investissements et de les financer. The programme also aims to fund energy efficiency projects such as the production of biomass briquettes in Nairobi, which will help reduce the company's annual energy bill by 25% and reduce its CO2 emissions by 9 kilotons annually, all for an investment of $1.3 million. Lean Energy Solution is a company that operates boilers fueled by biosourced briquettes produced by Lean Energy itself in order to provide energy to manufacturing companies. These biomass briquettes are made with vegetable waste. These energy efficiency measures help manufacturers to reduce their power bills. So one ton of briquette creates 12 million days of employment. Also, it reduces one ton of carbon dioxide emission. It's a green fuel. You know, fossil fuel like diesel or fuel oil will generate carbon dioxide, but this is carbon neutral. From the waste generated from the coffee, we make these briquettes and also from the sugarcane bagasse we make the briquettes. And, and basically it was through Kenya Association of Manufacturers we came to know about this program and we approached them, we gave them the proposal, they liked it and that's how we could multiply these effects. Initially we were struggling, we had only one or two companies where we did the boiler conversion and we were not able to increase that uh, to, with the number of boilers because of the cash crunch, because we had a financial problem. That is where the AFD has come in and this loan has become very handy. In order to meet energy challenges, access to finance from banks is essential, but not in itself sufficient. The AFD-funded credit line for green energy also builds the capacity and knowledge of the key players in the market. It was a very good thing that at the very onset of the project, we went through a lot of training and a lot of consultation with the RTAP, the Regional Technical Assistance Program. That consultation, and a lot of education. We did quite a number of trainings, took a very large team from the bank. The credit committee itself that makes decisions had to be retrained in how to look at these kind of uh, projects. And we found that with the education and a few of the first cases being taken through a process where there was a lot of back and forth between us and the RTAP, we came to a point where everyone is a lot more knowledgeable and everyone is a lot more comfortable with how we assess those risks we are fairly confident that all these customers will be able to pay. There's a very strong input into their business, which has made their businesses more efficient, and so their cash flows are looking stronger rather than weaker after this. And so we are very, very positive about the experience that we shall see in terms of repayment ability. Installing solar panels at Strathmore University will allow it to reduce its CO2 emissions by 750 tonnes annually with an investment of $1.3 million for 600 kilowatts of installed power capacity. Renewable energy is useful for the industry, for instance, for agribusiness also, 
and obviously for education. We are in town, we, we provide good facilities for these students as you can see here. Uh, we have uh, uh, wireless internet, for instance, all over campus, and it consumes energy. We um, spend about $300,000 per year in electricity. That's a lot of money, $25,000 per month. So, because uh, Kenya has a lot of sun, we thought to harvest the energy from the sun. And the challenge was the investment capital. Where do I get $1.3 million to do that? It was when the project of uh, AFG came. Uh, we applied for it. We got the fund and uh, we started now the, the project. A 600 kilowatt system will look to produce up to 800 megawatt hours every year on self-consumption and 200 kilowatt hours to sell to the grid. We are looking to be carbon neutral and ensure that the self-consumption of the university is satisfied. I want to see a green environment. Yeah, and even help the like the rural areas. They have those resources, but they don't have the, the mechanism or the equipment. From the knowledge I will gain from the, my masters and expertise in the area will, will help me go to the rural communities and help them utilize whatever resources they have to get energy and maintain a sustainable systems for themselves. With the aim of developing projects involving energy efficiency and renewable energy, the Technical Assistance Programme has identified 123 projects in Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania. The credit line attributed to Kenya has helped fund eight projects with a total of $37 million. These projects received a total investment of more than $55 million. The programme enables the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions by 65 kilotons annually through the installation of a cumulative total power capacity of 22 megawatts, which is expected to produce 120 gigawatt hour annually from renewable energy sources. AFD's initiative to finance small-scale renewable energy and energy efficiency projects developed by local companies aims at contributing prioritized goal of Kenyan public policy. These new resources can play a crucial role in Kenya's transition to a low-carbon economy and in promoting sustainable development. East Africa is currently experiencing a period of sustained economic growth and robust transformation. Its population is expanding rapidly and its economies are developing and diversifying. Kenya is East Africa's largest economy, but an underdeveloped energy sector is having an impact on the competitiveness of local industries. Small and medium enterprises have a growing need for energy, but electricity is so expensive, accounting for up to 40% of the costs of operating factories and other industrial facilities. It was against this backdrop in 2010 that the French Development Agency and the European Union, via the Africa Infrastructure Fund, funded the implementation of a credit line and a regional technical assistance program, RTAP, for Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda to help companies invest in the green energy sector. The program aims to boost private sector supply of renewable energy and to promote energy efficiency measures and renewable energy production. Donc le projet est constitué d'une ligne de crédit, donc un prêt, et ensuite une, un programme d'assistance technique qui permet de structurer des projets des porteurs de projets euh, en termes de faisabilité technique et financière. Et c est, c est, cette analyse est fournie à la banque, qui ensuite analyse le projet au niveau de son comité de crédit 
et qui décide ou non de financer ce projet. On a une articulation technique et financière sur un programme d'ensemble. The Kenya Association of Manufacturers, CAM, is responsible for the operation of the Nairobi-based Regional Technical Assistance Program. It is managed by experts and by a consortium of the French engineering consultancy Berjap and the Frankfurt School UNEP Collaborating Center. So the Regional Technical Assistance Program was, um, had a very clear mission, and the mission was to ensure that the line of credit that was given to the commercial banks was disbursed to the most appropriate projects. And our job was to ensure that the due diligence is correctly carried out and the most appropriate projects would benefit from the credit line. The program aims to support the funding of investments in renewable energy projects such as mini hydropower, biomass and solar. By installing renewable energy technology, Kenyan private sector companies can meet their energy needs and also sell the surplus energy to the national grid, thereby generating additional revenue. The project's second component encourages energy efficiency projects, i.e. projects that utilize more efficient energy management methods that make it possible in the medium term to reduce fuel and electricity costs, and more generally, production costs, particularly for small and medium enterprises. The return on investment is mostly assured by savings in energy bills. The purpose of the project is to render the funding of renewable energy and energy efficiency projects a standardized product, which can be adopted by local banks as a source of revenue. AFD's support combines a range of financial and technical instruments, including a technical assistance program, a credit line, and a guarantee called ARIS. These tools have allowed banks to move into the new field of green energy finance. The program was unique to us because it not only brought affordable capital, but it also brought a capacity building component which was going to help us as a bank to understand the sectors that we're going to be dealing with and especially in assessing energy efficient projects. The very first challenges that we experienced was in trying to get our customers to understand what it is that we are talking about as far as renewable energy is concerned. The second challenge that we experienced was that a lot of the things we were talking about in terms of how to make the renewable energy work in a technically feasible way that also fits with the cash flows of the customer, that took us a long time to get our minds around as a bank. We are fairly confident that all these customers will be able to pay. There's a very strong input into their business, which has made their businesses more efficient, and so their cash flows are looking stronger rather than weaker after this. And so we are very, very positive about the experience that we shall see in terms of repaymentability. With the aim of developing projects involving energy efficiency and renewable energy, the Technical Assistance Programme has identified 123 projects in Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania. The credit line attributed to Kenya has helped fund eight projects with a total of $37 million for a total investment of more than $55 million. The program has enabled the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions by 65 kilotons annually through the installation of a cumulative total power capacity of 22 megawatts, which is expected to produce 120 gigawatt hours annually from renewable energy sources. AFD's initiative to finance small-scale renewable energy and energy efficiency projects developed by local companies aims at contributing prioritized goal of Kenyan public policy. These new resources can play a crucial role in Kenya's transition to a low-carbon economy and in promoting sustainable development.